guy, this is JJ, I'm Randall of CropandGuyTraining.com. In this video, we're going to go over the mount escape when the bad guy is on top of you and they're headlocking you. And I want to show a variation of the trap of the arm when you're doing the headlock escape. Because I, I think if you experiment with this, you will find that it has some technical superiorities that will make the trap a little bit better. So first, let me show you the, the traditional way of doing the arm trap. So JJ's got me in the mount, he's the bad guy, he's headlocking you. The traditional trap is to cut the person's arm, whether it be on the shoulder, tricep area. And this will work, especially against an unskilled person. But I found there's a few problems with this. If I cut here like this, there's actually a lot of ways that he can pummel his arm free when I try to roll him out. So one example is the higher up on the arm that I grab, especially if I grab it on the shoulder, there's really not stopping, anything stopping his elbow from coming out and posting out to the side. If he sticks his hand out to the side, especially as I'm trying to roll him, I've lost that trap. Even at this area here, lower on the tricep, still, if he's stronger than me, he still might be able to drive his elbow off to the side and do the exact same thing. His elbow will be out even worse, eventually he'll rotate the hand out, and I won't be able to roll him. Another problem is this, we're going to rotate this way, is even if I trap like this, there's nothing stopping him from pulling his form over the top of my head here. So I might trap him here, but there's nothing stopping him from taking his form, lifting up over this direction and posting out. So maybe I've got him initially trapped here, he knows I'm going to start to roll him, he'll pull it out from here and do that. Some people argue, well, yeah, but what if you just keep your head pinned to the ground? We found that if we pressure test this, that my head, my neck muscles are only so strong. If he really wants to, he can muscle through this. Go ahead, JJ. See, I'm trying. I, you can see. Let's do it one more time. I'm actually trying to keep my head pinned to the ground. I'm just, ow. <laughs> I'm not even strong enough, and I just look like a jackass. I put myself on the floor, which would be even worse on pavement. So here's my solution to this. Actually, it's like a covering defense against a hook punch. Take your hand, cup the back of your own head, squeeze your elbow in. So now, there's absolutely no way that he's gonna be able to punch his arm to the side or lift his arm over the top. Come on, JJ, come on, JJ. Do this, JJ. I didn't think so. So, that's my solution. The simple as this, just like the defense against hook punch, let's say that we're fighting on my knees, he throws a big hook punch upside my head. Look, it's the exact same movement. Wrapping the back of your head, squeezing your elbow in tight, pointing your elbow towards him. So we try to correlate Similar movements in crop got to carry over to multiple situations. Well, that same trap will also work, or that same covering defense will also work for this trap. So I'll do it one more time, but from a different perspective. So Jay just cut the mount on me. So normally we're here like this when he headlocks me. The only thing I'm doing different is grabbing the back of my head, but very, very important, don't neglect squeezing your elbow away. Just like against the covering defense, that's a neglected aspect of that defense. With this arm trap, it's the same thing. Grab the head, but squeeze in tight. And then have your partner try to get the arm free. I'm not saying it's impossible, but if you guys are about the same size, it should be pretty difficult. And by this time, I really should have rolled him by now. I shouldn't be sitting here all day long having a chit chat with him. So I suggest this as a better option for the trap. So here, 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 and here, and you're good to go. So play with that, guys. Have your partner pressure test a little bit, try to see if they can get your arm, their arm free. And I think they're going to have a much difficult time to do that. Anyway, play with that variation. Personally, that's the only way I teach it at my Krav Maga school. Have a good day, guys.